This is Stolas from Hell of a Boss, and this is my own art. Somehow, I had to turn this cartoon character into a highly detailed, realistic piece of artwork. In my own style, of course. But this video almost wasn't even of Stolas. For you see, I made a poll on my YouTube channel where I asked who I should draw first, Stolas or Alistair. And you know what happened? They died! Honestly, I'm shocked. Hi, I'm Luke of Luke Richards. Pleasure to be meeting you! I'm going to draw this horny, sad owlboy as the true demon he deserves to be. Why am I drawing Stolas first, I hear you ask? Well, due to the tie, I simply flipped a coin. Now we're talking. And here we are. Stolas won. It is expected. Let's get started. Stolas has gradually become one of my favourite characters, not just from Hell of a Boss and not just in animation, but as an all-time favourite character across all forms of media. And I'm glad that the poll I made showed that others like him just as much as I do. In fact, it's enough that he can even rival Alistair himself in popularity. Fuck. Stolas has had an interesting shift from when we first met him. Originally he came across as just a side gag. <laughs> Sorry, I fucked your husband. But oh my god, has it advanced so much more than that. Honestly, Stolas's and Blitz's love arc and his more wholesome representation of Osmodius and Viserolli have become my favourite story arcs of any adult show. I think it's easy to get wrapped up in Has Been Hotel right now with his recent release, but with the next episode, and final episode of Series 2, surely coming out very soon. I wanted to shift the focus to Stolas and inevitably where the story is headed, and also hence my drawing of him, which I also wanted to reflect his current headspace and emotions of the story so far. So take that, Alistair fans! You're gonna have to wait a bit longer for your fan art piece. Stolas is a wreck at this moment in the story. He is practically broken. That's a mood, Gabriella. He is a sad, depressed owlboy that can't get the love he wants from Blitz to be reciprocated back to him. And I think it is very obvious that he is about to create an ultimatum for Blitz that I honestly suspect is going to be catastrophic. This whole situation is honestly the fault of both of those characters, which has been boiling up from childhood it turns out, but it has mostly exploded recently due to the whole Aussies episode. Both Blitz and Stolas are just terrible at communication. Blitz is a very complicated character that has a great deal of traumas that affect every relationship he has had with people, and as such he just doesn't open up to Stolas fully, and won't communicate his feelings to him. Blitz has had family members, friends and lovers all reject him because of his negative impact on others. In on or not. God damn it, whore, you will not let that go! And as such, he tends to keep a distance from people, with the exception being Luna, his one sort of bright spot in his life that he cherishes, which even then he kind of fumbles out a lot too. Also, probably kind of redundant to say, but Stolas kind of shares this experience himself with Octavia, his own daughter. There are many other components to unpack too, like how he tries to insert himself into Moxie and Millie's love life, as he views that as a perfect love life, which he desperately craves, but at the same time is afraid of committing to. So it's easier to insert himself into the love life of others rather than create one for himself. And then there is the whole classism aspect of it too, with Blitzo being understandably worried that his lower station in life shifts the power balance sharply in Stolas' favour, making Blitz his underling, his plaything, and that Stolas doesn't really love him but views him as a novelty. And Stolas likewise is just as bad at communicating things to Blitz. I love that we get to see the text between these two characters as we can see both of their fumblings. Blitz just can't type for shit and mostly gives one word for responses, or sometimes just doesn't respond at all. But Stolas has the complete opposite approach, giving us huge paragraphs. While at first it appears like Stolas is trying to communicate with Blitz here, even if it is a bit much, it is important to point out that Stolas is one to try and sweep problems away under the rug, not realising the pain that he has called Blitz. Hell, even making light of the whole situation and playing it off almost as a kink. Which, from Blitz visions, we know that he feels quite literally chained to Stolas. Chained to the deal and chained to him, Blitz is afraid of becoming a slave, a plaything to a far more powerful being than himself, and one that will end up not caring about him and discarding him once he becomes bored. And Stolas playing the whole situation off as a kink really doesn't reassure Blitz, I'm sure. But it's not like this rampant kinkiness and horniness stems from nowhere on Stolas' part. Their relationship, as we truly saw, only began when they met the second time. Blitz really didn't care about a relationship at the time and was only really interested in getting the book. He used Stolas' affections in the most overtly horny way that he could, to steal from Stolas. Now, while their situation eventually changed from this, I think it is important to point out that their relationship started with overt horniness, which Stolas is interpreting as Blitz wanting, as that's how he initiated things. <laughs> Stolas is basically trying to match the energy that he thinks Blitz wanted from the start, but the problem is, is that their relationship started in one of the worst ways possible, from thievery and deals. I'll pay you. Pay me what? Money. Done! 
And all of this is without even mentioning how these accents is quite literally destroying Stolas' life among the Ars Goetia and with his wife, his standing in the demon hierarchy, and potentially, worst of all, his daughter. It's such good writing, and I'm not joking when I say it is the best part of the show. Both parties are of two men seeking companionship from each other, that are so insecure, so damaged in themselves, that they are just causing more harm due to their lack of communication. So where is it going to go from here? Well, I think we all know by now that Stolas is going to give Blitz an Asmodeus Crystal. This is Stolas' way of forcing an ultimatum on Blitz. With this crystal, Blitz would no longer need the book and be free from Stolas' deal. And this is Stolas' way of saying, Hey, I like it. This relationship is not based upon transactions. You are your own person, you are not my property, and we can work this out. But as we saw in the awesome song, Just Look My Way, Stolas is terrified. He is resigning himself to the very real possibility that once Blitz has the crystal, he's just going to run away. Once he has what he wants and is no longer bound by deals to Stolas, then he would just leave and this will destroy Stolas. And honestly, this could happen. I could see this whole situation going horribly wrong. Both of these tortured men are so bad at communication that at this point it has the potential to be disastrous. And this is the moment I wanted to catch up for my joy in here. The fear that Stolas has. The fear, but also the deep sadness that Stolas has in realizing that his actions might cause him to lose Blitz. Something that he has sacrificed so much for, and ultimately something he could be losing very soon. Let me know what you think is going to happen. I am so excited, but also just as terrified as Stolas himself almost. <laughs> I guess ultimately, I wanted to draw Stolas before the next episode airs and have it be inspired by his darkest and most saddest moment, at least the darkest moment so far. Hence, my inspiration for this drawing should be obvious. The setting is the same area as in the song. The moon he had is also here. The tear expresses his sorrow. But I changed his outfit to be the one that he had in the Aussies episode. Honestly, I did this as I just friggin' love that outfit, but you could say symbolically I chose this one as that is when the relationship with Blitz and Stolas broke down. Actually, yeah, let's go with that. I totally planned it. I put quite a lot of effort into this drawing, I will say. I previously drawn Blitz, Moxie, and Millie, and also some characters from Hasman Hotel. A link will be in the description if you want to check out those videos too. But with each one of those drawings I did, I made them in just one hour. For Stolas here, I wanted to spend way longer on it. I lost count of how many hours I spent on it, and I could have spent a lot longer in it, but you, you know, you got to stop at some point or another, right? Next up, I'll be joining Alistair soon. Stay tuned. <laughs> Subscribe and follow me on Instagram for all the latest news. Right, that's it. I'm ending the video now.